And if you if you haven't learned this, you you really should try to take it in. Being positive or negative is a choice, and I think a lot of you can agree with that. You choose when you get up in the morning to make it a positive day or a negative day. So with that, I'm going to tell you what things we've kind of got done and where we're at. We've got the new doors and casing in, but they're rescheduled to come back out to, I don't know, shim them. The, the door's not right. It's a lot better than it was, but that's not good enough. It needs to be right. So it's still difficult to get open. It looks like it needs to have some shims put in it or something, and we want them to do it because it's a guarantee through that company. So we didn't pay anything for any of that. Um, or you could say we really did pay because they put them in wrong and then they weren't able to be used. So when they tell me, you know, you're getting this free, I don't really see that it was free. But we are working with the company that put them in the first time. They had a split. It was a father and son. And they split up. And the son is trying to get back in good graces. So that's a gel wind door. Ripped out all the casing. Uh, but it's, it's still not right. It's out of alignment, it feels like. So we'll get that fixed. Um, you can see we tore out all the shrubs in the front. They were old. You tried to trim them, and there's nothing left but sticks. And they're more of a northern, you know, those um, kind of pine-looking, evergreen thing. So we're going to come in with some more tropical, probably some hibiscus and some other stuff to put in there. And it's going to take a little while because we need to put irrigation in there first. So it's not going to be, it's probably going to be several weeks. It may even be a month before that gets filled back in. Um, we changed the trash cans out. I was going to get uh, a custom built to put the trash cans in, but they would have stuck too far out in the aisleway. And we did a lot of measuring, and that's a, that's a heavily used walkway in and out of that kitchen. So we decided to get ones on wheels, move them over here. That way, if you have an event out on the patio, you can take them out here, or you can take them out this way. And then uh, new bulletin boards back here, and so your table and stuff is with your information is back here. Um, what else have we got? Now? We're, we're still going through with tree trimming. Tree trimming is going to be ongoing. So if you see something that needs to be trimmed, it's probably on the hit list. It's just going to be probably every month they're going to be coming in and trimming trees. I'm sorry? Your gates? Are fixed. Yep, gates are fixed. Um, and we're, we'll be finishing up painting the columns all white. So there'll be the out front gray wall, charcoal gray caps, and then white columns. So thank you for everybody. I know you were instrumental, JT, in asking and asking and asking, please, can we do something? And I did get a little uh, out of the box. I got a note that said, you know, paint them. They wanted the wall painted blue. And I said, we're done with the walls. We need to move on. They're not, it was $3,500 to paint and repair that wall, so they're not going to go back and paint it blue. So you've got the gr light gray, charcoal gray, and the white columns, and I think it's a, a nice look. It gives it some depth and, and a little more to it than just the gray walls. Um, what else? You've got the awning out here. That's up. I'm doing CapEx right now. Um, a, a lot more repairs and upgrades to lift station and still working on the wastewater treatment plant. Um, but I put in for new picnic tables, uh, and I'm just starting. I put in, we have to have a new lawnmower, cause the, and, and that's like $10,000 for a lawnmower, the kind that we need because, you, you know, when you're trying to mow the golf course, there's probably about 10 additional acres that we have to mow that the contracted mowers don't do because it's not in the contract. Um, new bathrooms all new bathrooms and the library and the one around the corner. So the showers will be torn out. They'll be made ADA, uh, Americans Disability Act, so that you can get wheelchairs in and out of there. Uh, the, both the one in the library area and the one on the outside, are, I've, I've put out the quotes to have that done. The library is going to be upgraded. Uh, now when I say it's going to be, I put them in CapEx, and we talked about capital expenditures last time. It doesn't mean we always get it. And that's what I put in, and then they're going to evaluate. Just like we had to take money from other properties for what we had to get done this year, emergencies, the gates and stuff, they took that money from another property. So uh, we put in, and I know the library and the bathrooms are high on Gina's list, so I think it is highly likely that we will get that done. So they'll put in all new flooring, all new electrical, all new paint, 
A new card uh, game table will go in there. Uh, they've got on the list to put a couple leather chairs in there, but I don't think they'll fit. Uh, we're going to put new, not all new bookshelves, but we're going to add, uh, take the washers and dryers out, so it will just be a library card room. Uh, there's a place where one of the washers is sitting, and we're going to build that wall all the way up so we can put tall bookcases down both sides. So that will give more room in there. Uh, and then the, the, what's left of the little kitchenette in there, that's going to be the laundry room. So there will be a stackable washer and dryer in there. And we have to keep that in there because that's in our prospectus as part of what um, Little Manatee Springs has as, as amenities. So you can't remove that. It has to stay. But I think just having a stackable one in there and getting them out of the, the library, I was kind of shocked the first day I saw those in there. <laughs> you, have, you have washers and dryers in your library. Um, so, and then um, what else have I got? There's a few other things I can't remember and a few more things I need to put in. So I'm just starting down that path. You moved Let's, the refrigerator. What's that? You moved the refrigerator. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Uh, we took the refrigerator that was in that little kitchenette and moved it over here into your closet. So it's a lot more accessible for parties. So if you have overflow food, it, it'll be right there. What else? And it's locked. Huh? And it's locked. Yeah, and it's locked. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't have the key. So, yes, ma'am. What about the shuffleboard courts? I've got the shuffleboard courts are staying in there. They it looks like they've been in there for three years. I know. Yeah, that is still in there. I didn't yeah. remove it. So. Yeah, and I did put in there. I said, you know, they're they're in really really poor shape, and we had to say we have a nice group of people who play. So I try to use all the right stuff to to get them to see. I've taken pictures. You know, so, yeah, that was addressed. Thank you. What else? What questions do you have this morning? Oh, come on. Yeah, I have a question about the new lift station or water treatment, whatever they're doing. The smell is still bad. Uh, okay, so I can smell it in my water in the house also. Is there something that, you know, Okay, so are you talking, I need to see to clarify, are you talking about the lift station or are you talking about the water treatment plant? Water treatment. The water treatment plant. Right. I will talk to uh, U.S. Water about it. And mm -hmm. when you say you're smelling it in your house, you're not smelling it in the water because that's something different totally. That's your drinking water. But, yeah, it's my drinking water that I'm smelling that same smell that I smell when I well, walk down the street. Well, um, I can tell U.S. Water what they do is they put chlorine in the water. That's yeah, what they'll this, do. This isn't chlorine. No, no, no. That's what they need to add. They need to add chlorine to the oh, drinking okay. water at the, at the water treatment plant. So I want, you're the first one that said anything to okay. me. For, for and, it's, and it's strange because it's in, I don't smell it throughout the house. It's like one sink in my house, and it's actually where I use brush my teeth. And it smells really bad. And, that, and why it would be that particular one. Sally said she smelled it. She washes her clothes. Mine is smelling more in our bathroom. They'll just they'll add more chlorine. The only other thing you can do, because I had it too. It was so bad at the house that the company bought. I took my clothes to Fort Myers to wash them. I wouldn't even wash them here. Okay. And I just put a filter system on. That was the only well, way. We have the water softener. So why would it do that? I don't know that I don't much mean, about. I don't, if you have it a. It just seems to be that it, all the the work right before they started the work and everything. And then even since I've done it, I smell it more now. Okay. Than I did I'll make sure I call U.S. Water and tell them. Um, I is, just need is it just down your end? Anybody else no, getting that? No, I smell it in my washer. My washer yeah. yeah. clothes, they come out smelling. We live diagonally across from it. Yeah, we live diagonally across from it. Okay. And I would say between uh, quarter to six and six thirty in the morning, you can get that smell. Not every day. Okay. Yeah. This morning is okay. fine. Yes, he was fine the day before was pretty bad. Okay. And once in a while I come back again, and I don't know if it's just the wind that's picking it up from the ground area or whether or not it's part of the, the sewage treatment mm. plant itself. Yeah. But uh, it does give off of the screen. smell. Okay. I will I will call US Water and tell them that we've got some issues that they need to address. But what was all that stuff? I watched you put all that stuff in with the cement. What, what Those is that? are big What's surge. That Those are called surge tanks. Her question was, what were the big cement tanks that were back in the wastewater treatment plant? That's $125,000 worth of uh, holding tanks. So 
when you have either a lot of groundwater coming in or uh, influx of residents coming in using sinks and toilets, it goes through our lift station and the lift station takes it over to the wastewater treatment plant. If it, there's too much, it holds it in those big tanks until it can put it on through and process it. So that's what the money was spent on? This those big tanks. tanks. Well, yeah, and electrical upgrade and uh -huh. new piping, yeah. Okay. yeah. But you see, that's where our concern is because I'd say 40 or 50% of the people are gone. Yeah. So as far as the number, I count it by the number of flushes. Okay. If you double the number of flushes, you know, if we're having a little bit of a problem with the smell now, it can't get any better beginning in October through the winter. I'll, I'll talk to him about it. I don't know if it's because the completion, I know we're sitting a little bit open waiting for inspections. So that could be part of the problem. I'll talk to U.S. Water. This is the first I'm hearing of it. So I'll call them as soon as I need and tell them the concerns. And then the concerns going forward. Absolutely. Okay. Yep, absolutely. What else? Somebody else? Yes. Oh, yeah, good question. She wants to know about the lights at the front gate. Um, I've already spent $1,200, and still, we, we're still at a bit of a standstill. What we're going to go get now, we're going to take the rope lights down. Gina had asked that every property have the rope lights. When the electrician came out the second time, he said, those are difficult to work with. He said, get them off of there. And so we now have power, they're saying, to each tree. So we're going to go get really strong up lights right there for all, For I think there's four palm trees. Four. One before you come in and then three in the bay and put those in. So we'll probably do that next week. Well, what about the pole thing? You know, those are dead. Are you, are you talking about the ones that sit on the gate, those? Yeah, and like when you come They're through. so, no, they're so gone. Oh. Yeah, they're so gone. The infrastructure here is so old. It's just like trying to get these shrubs out here. Who would have thought with the phone lines up against the wall that it, it came from over here, ran this way under the sidewalk and right in line of where they pulled the tree out and we had no phones for a day. Ripped all the lines out. It's, and you know, but at least now we know where the phone lines are, you know? And I said, can't you get them up against the wall and then going up to the box? And he said, nope, because it's coming from over in this middle area, running under the sidewalk, back through the sidewalk again. So I, I have no idea why. I, I'm surprised he found. He, had, he worked hard to try to find where all those came in. So, yes. Another good question. Uh, the electrician was here yesterday. We got a new electrician. And um, I'll have it up and going probably in two weeks. What was the question? A stove. Stove. What about the stove? Yeah. Should be up and going in two weeks. He's got to run a little more conduit and do some different things. Uh, a, a reputable um, electrician came out to start this. And as he was talking, I kind of got concerned. I mean, you know, they're highly insured, licensed, done work on this property before, but I don't know if it was just the person or the two people they sent out. And I began to question, so I called somebody else. And the person I called happened to be somebody who's put in the electricity in most of this community. He, was, he knew the two men that owned it. He was very well aware. He started looking, and originally he thought we were going to have to get more power from Peace River. And that was about a $5,000 fix. He said there's, he didn't think there was enough coming in. So then he came out and looked at it again, looked at the conduit, what was in it, decided he could separate some things out that would not harm any of the other equipment in here but it's another $1,900. So, and I don't have $1,900. So I gotta go to the regional manager and say, go to another property and get it because anything over 1,000, remember, is CapEx. And they're already, you can't do the bill me three times. So it's, each bill is under 1,000 because they'll look at it and they'll say, oh, did you have something done? And they just divided up the work, you know? So I can't do that. I've tried that when I first started early on years ago. So that doesn't work. So it's considered a capital expenditure because it's over $1,000. So I have to go through the system now to get that money to get the stove going. But we'll get it. I understand you got a problem with building permits. We do have a problem with building permits. We have, um, I'm doing another big project for, for actually uh, Ken Kat, uh, Kravenaugh in Chicago. The young man, when they put the doors in last year, was it last year before I got here in the spring? They were for a long time. 
Okay. Well, when they came back to do it, the first time they didn't pull a permit, so they thought this time we better pull a permit. So they went to pull the permit, and they called me from uh, Hillsborough County and said, they're not going to give us a permit because you have, um, what did they call it, too many open permits that have not been closed out. So I started down this track. I'm on my second week. I've probably got a 100-page spreadsheet that I'm still working on. This goes back to 1998. 1998. So I've got to go back now and to every site. And when you pull up the actual permit number, there may be five, six, seven, eight different hits on that. So I have to pull every one of those and put it on the spreadsheet. So when corporate looks at it, they can say, okay, this particular project on this lot has this many hits on it. So um, we, we got to go in and clean it up. And they told us the way we had to clean it up was that you have to bring in a Hi, good morning. Hello, good morning. Welcome. Get yourself donuts up there, please. Uh, I was told by a supervisor that we have to hire an engineer to come out and look at each project, and they have to know what the code was for that year in order to clear it. And I said, you've got to be kidding me. I mean, this, this could be, I mean, we'll all be dead before this gets done. So... Um, I talked to Gina, the regional, and she said it depends on the way the property was bought or sold. Uh, some of the times they sell them, and it's a cutoff point from the time we take it. We don't do anything back end. It's the responsibility of whoever had it before. So now it's in legal up in Chicago, and they'll have to look at it and decide. I, I just have to figure out. It looks like the majority of them out of 74, 31 expired permits came from 2005 and it looks like it's when they converted this from RV to MH because it's all it's all new homes. As a matter of fact, the majority of it is new homes that came in. Now Hillsborough County is not known to follow up on their permits. Well, I guess not since 1998. Yeah, right. <laughs> and then this, they're going to stop us from getting this one. And I told her the day uh, that I had the issue, I went to open the old door and the whole thing fell out, fell down off of the hinge and I was screaming for Larry because it was pulling me out and he had to run around to the other side and, and shove the door back in and I told her somebody's going to get killed if you don't give this permit. Hi, good morning. Good morning. What's wrong? <laughs> nine o'clock? Nine o'clock. What time did you start? Last time? Nine o'clock. Oh, nine o'clock. Oh, it is at nine thirty. Oh, okay. So you, we, you <laughs> That's all right. There's still plenty of donuts and coffee. Not a problem. Was it not 9.30? 9 to 9.30. 9 to 9.30. Get yourself a donut. There's plenty up there. I just had a, an apple fritter home. Yum. Those are <laughs> because good. Because yesterday I went to, and I said, I feel like having something sweet. I know. I bought this box of apple fritters, but now we're caught with it. You know, oh, yeah. Well, somebody's got to eat them. Yeah, yeah. There's a question back there. Yes. I'm just going to let them. Hang on just a second. Let me get, let them get seated. Oh. <laughs> okay. Question back here. I, I'm sorry. I can't hear you. On July 4th, something about the stove. Yeah. Anyway, Yeah, y'all, we got a problem with that vent. I mean, I don't know who was allowed to have that put in. The question was about that vent. I do know the way you shut it off now is digital, so there's not a switch on it anywhere. It's that little panel on the wall, and it looks at like it gets tripped sometimes, so that there's nothing. It doesn't even light up. Uh, that was another install from the same people who put the door in. They did the whole thing. So uh, I, I don't know why they ever approved an exhaust. That huge. That looks like for a, a commercial oh, restaurant. Oh, it does. Yeah, but what is going in there? Did you? Yes. Yeah. Why do you need such a big? Yeah, it is thing. just I such mean, overkill. Know. Everybody who's come in, all the electricians are like, "Oh my gosh," yeah. you know. <laughs> and I said, "Yeah, this is. I got here, and it was it was here." So it is a bit of an issue. We're working on it, but I don't know how it'll ever be resolved. I think it's always going to be uh, tricky. I think there, it's going to be times that it's going to blow the panel and then you're not going to be able to turn it off or on uh, because sometimes it comes on. Have you noticed it'll just come on? 
and nobody knew how to shut it off. And one of the guys that does the fire inspection told me, because he had to inspect it once it was put in, he said, it's on that side digital panel. That's how you regulate everything. I thought, oh, brother, that's going to be a disaster. There's an awful lot of air coming out of there. Yeah. With the air conditioning working and that air blowing from there. Yep. So is there no instructions with that panel? I don't have any. I don't have any. Why would We'll just have to go There's online and look it up. Of the company on the panel. We'll just go online. We just look it up online. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, I've asked the guy that was here when they installed it and got it. Um, he had to approve it. The fire, some kind of. Fire it's not a fire marshal, but they do the inspections for all of the um, fire stuff in here, all of our regulation system. He was here when they did it. That's who I asked. Why did that thing come on? Like, just if nobody's even in here. It'll come on. And he started laughing. He said, well, I don't know why they put it in, but he's, he said yeah. it's on the panel. So well, so I have to just keep working on it. What about that company that put it in? Don't they uh, do anything about it? Well, you can call them, and they'll charge you to come back out because nothing's guaranteed. So, you know, I don't know. It's just I've just had such hits. I mean, the lawnmower's down. The tractor is down. Our golf cart is down. <laughs> you know, we need brakes on that. It just seems like everything kind of went downhill. Yes, sir. That concrete pole at the entrance is that a, a, a concrete pole at the entrance? The city of the Empire is the flag at half mast. We just need to put it back up. It was at half mast for all the shootings and stuff that took place. Uh, I know, yeah, I want them because it's been at half mast. Yeah, yeah, it just needs to go back up. I know, isn't that the truth? Isn't that awful? It used to be only for states. Presidents and statesmen, and now we do it for everything. <laughs> yeah, we, we get instructions from corporate on that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, half mass. Which comes from? Yeah, exactly. Know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. What else? Other questions? I thought I saw more hands. Yes. Excuse me, what's going on, like, with the uh, shuffleboard court? You're late. It's been sitting in, ca I see it every year in there. It was in there 2014, 2015, 2016, and it's remaining in there for 17. Doesn't mean we'll get it, obviously, because it hasn't happened we'll yet. Up right here by then, right? Well, <laughs> she will. <laughs> what are we doing to it? It needs to be totally refurbished, repainted. It needs to be resurfaced. Mm -hmm. All the lines need to be put back on it. And really kind of canopy? Well, I saw that in there. I, I saw that that's part of what's in there, the big uh, aluminum just to put over the top. I, I, don't, I don't know if they'll approve it or not. You know, they look at everything. They're gonna, they have to look at additional uh, amenities, repairs and upgrades to amenities, and they have to look at infrastructure, you know? the stuff that's not so pretty but needs to be done. So they have to look at all of that. Right. Uh, they are, I, I'm... It would just be nice to have shade. Sure. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure, I'm reasonably sure they're going to get those bathrooms in the library this year because they're in pretty pretty rough yeah. shape. Did you get my email about the guy that bought Becky's old home that does the concrete work and he does shuffleboard courts as well? Yes, you're talking about blank, guy blank. Yeah. I don't know whether he's licensed or anything, but... Well, he probably is because he owns his own concrete company. Yeah. So he probably, yeah, yeah, I did get that. Yes. What are you going to do with the kitchen, the old kitchen in the other building? Oh, there won't be a, a kitchen over there. Could we expand the library into that area? No, because we have to have a laundry room. Are you going to have a laundry in there? Take the washer We're going to take the washer and dryer. They're going to put a stack of a washer and dryer in that little room and uh, pull it out of that library area so you have more room for books and we'll get a much nicer table. And, and there are two closets in there. Are they currently being used? Well, one of them has your hot, all the hot water heaters in it for our building, so you really can't store stuff in there. There's a little one that I don't have a key for. I guess whoever the librarian is has the key because I don't have it. I don't think it's very big. Back in that corner, that little, right. yeah. And then in the in the... If you're talking about the kitchen area, that closet back there, yes. that's where we put our vacuum, carpet cleaner, all of our supplies. 
because we don't have any space anywhere else. You don't do that where they have the shuffleboard thing that big? We've taken it all. We've taken that whole thing. We've taken that whole thing because we don't have any room, room to keep any of our big equipment. I know we, we don't have room. <laughs> Yeah, but we're going to we're going to add. Um, she's talking about shuffleboards uh, area where they put the shuffleboard, the pucks, and the sticks and stuff. We're going to put a really nice um, little shed, probably at the back of this building, that will hold all of the sticks and pucks and everything. Uh, because again, we have to have some place to put chemicals and all of our cleaning stuff. So we'll get that done before the uh, before season starts. Yes. Uh, when, when they do the outside bathroom, when they do that, when they put the blue corn in, can they put a drain? Because when you go there from coming from the pool, your suits drip and you've got nothing but solid water all over the floor and nothing to clean it up with. That's a that's good. I'll check and see. The bid came to me at about 5.15 last night. So I'll look and see if they put a drain in there. The showers are coming out. They're not going to have the showers. They'll just be the toilets and the vanity. Now, if they don't, it'd be nice to have paper towels and we're going to have to clean up the water and it drips off your suits, you know? Yeah, it's just, it's, a, it's always a struggle to keep those kinds of things in there because people like to take them home. <laughs> so it's, you know, I'm, I'm trying every day to get cups in the workout room and because they just, they just leave. Yes, sir. That's a good idea. They were looking at making that shower stall in that outer bathroom, though, a storage closet. So, but maybe they could tie into that. Yeah, good point. Good point. What else? Yes, ma'am. Uh, I spent the better part of yesterday on the telephone trying, I, I'm moving in on Monday, uh, trying to get uh, some kind of internet and uh, cable. And I decided to go with direct TV because there's already a satellite dish in the, in the yard. Okay. So it took me an, uh, almost two hours. We finally got a package deal to find out that they don't offer internet in here. So uh, they already have my credit card number. I'm still obligated apparently to them for for my uh, cable, but I don't have any internet. So I called Verizon, I called uh, well, Front Frontier, uh, I called Comcast. What do we call Right House. 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 Do you suggest that I, you have Verizon? Do you suggest that I, Try to bundle that with cable and, and to cancel uh, out on I would TV. not know. But the Verizon, Verizon, is not. Not. Had, we have, Verizon has yeah. phone, cable, and TV, and, and Internet, and the whole thing. But, I mean, uh, Bright House does. But you've already got a contract with DirecTV. Well, so. I was told yesterday that uh, I have three days. Yeah. Florida yeah, she must have Florida she has, oh, she has time to cancel it. So Get I have to it. make a decision today, basically. But, see, DirecTV doesn't really do internet. They would be just well, they, I they, they told somebody they else, else, I'm sure. Yeah, when I looked yeah, it up they, online, they had, yeah, it had uh, cable and internet. Well, it must be in certain areas. E equals uh, $60. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. They'll probably, they probably <laughs> contract with somebody that's already got cable and yeah. That they and would just do. go through them, you know. <laughs> it's like I start all over again. So you don't know whether it's cable or DSL. It, it, they have cable, but no internet. They don't partner with anybody in the state of Florida. I find with Direct TV, you need a separate, different kind of dish for satellite. Right. right. And there's already one in the yard. But so it's, not a, it's not a, it's not a, it's not an internet dish. It's no. a television. It's television. It's cable. Right. So you can, that, we found that out because we were looking into it too from Direct TV. But it requires a whole separate. Yeah. Right. It's in files. And it's actually from Cusenet. Cusenet is the satellite provider. DirecTV doesn't really do it themselves anymore. It's Cusenet. Right house like, can't combine it all. I know, Right House is really yeah. the best way to do it. That's what the office uses as well. The office uses. There is a deal 
I find with DirecTV that it is always like the, the bottom of the ninth inning and the Rays have got two men on base and they're one run down, a little cloud would come over and you'd lose your internet. We, we had it. We got rid of it. Oh, there you go. Of course, all, all I have would be cable and, and internet because my cell phone is rising. And I, you know, I don't want to get rid of that because all the kids have it. Well, they don't well okay. They don't they don't the and I don't have a landline. So. Yeah, that's the same we are. We've got, we've got the internet and uh, TV with Bright House. With Bright House. Fine, yeah. Are you happy with them, though? Oh yeah, service. service is great. If you have a problem, they're, they're really good. And I had never heard of them. Yeah. I even called Comcast today. They don't I'm gonna I'm gonna need to get going here because I'm the only one in the office today. Are there any final questions, comments, concerns? Yes, sir. I need one comment if I may. Yes, sir. Uh, we've been talking about the library a lot, and I just want to share with y'all some of the things that you may not know about the library. In 2007, Mary and I have been taking any duplicates or unused or books that are old out of the library when they put them in a certain place for us, and we donate them in the name of Little Manatee Springs to the VA hospital in the Oldman Bay Pine. Well, no, I, what I want to let you know is that library serves more than just reading material for the residents of Little Manatee. We donate those books also to some of the uh, nursing homes in the area, but most of them go to Baytown Hospital. And we've donated so far from that library around 5,000 books Whoa. and magazines, books and magazines. Just want to let you know. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. All right. Thank you all for coming. There's uh, plenty of donuts to take home. So. That was the car. No, <laughs> 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 <laughs>